Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Soldiers. This is the cool little Metroidvania that I've been interested in for quite a bit. Reminds me of Astalon, seems like it'll be a good time. Uh, there was a cool little animated cutscene at the beginning of this, so uh, I think I'm going to show that really quickly right now. Alright, looked pretty cool. So, the whole deal with this game is that you can play as three different characters, kind of similar to uh, Astalon, which seems cool. I don't know which character I'm going to play as. Okay, so we have explore. These are difficulties, okay. A game mode for soldiers who want to explore the world of Terra Gaia and enjoy the story without demanding battles. Game mode suited for soldiers ready to put their battle skills to the test, while also focusing on exploring Terra Gaia in search of its secrets. Game mode designed for experienced soldiers, used to all kinds of adventures. You'll need to use every possible resource available to survive. Okay, I don't think I'm a warrior. I think I'm a soldier. I think I'm very much a soldier. You'll be able to change the game mode during your game, but this will disable some achievements. Are you sure? Yeah. If we ever decide we want it to be harder... Sure. We can do that. Zarga, one of the three nations that rule the continent of Asil. But then the Castle Walls, the Royal Council, debates the best strategy for the coming war. After a few hours of deliberating, the King and his War Council are about to conclude their meeting. Is that clear? We shall follow the positioning set by General Brigard to the letter. That will be all. You may leave. Are these my characters? Council members leave their seats and ready themselves to leave the chamber. Arkazel, sorcerer and advisor to the king, leads the way to the door when suddenly... One moment, your majesty. Yes, something the matter with the plan? Actually, I'd like to propose a change of strategy. Waiting in Escrata is so boring. I prefer General Brigard's initial strategy, taking part in the action alongside the others. Soldiers, stand firm. You should have more faith in Arkzel's wisdom. His council has guaranteed Zarga's victory on multiple occasions. Now be sure they don't see you. Data Elm's already will be marching down the hill any moment. Yes, General. Okay, I like your cool dragon slayer. I do like a big two-hand sword. Ah! An earthquake. All of a sudden, an earthquake leaves them trapped between the mountain slopes, plunging them into darkness. Sounds horrible. Before their very eyes, a glowing beam appears, bathing the dark cave in its light. Like something out of a dream, a being emerges and starts to speak. Look like a Valkyrie. Is it a Valkyrie? Alright, well we got our setup here. Yeah, I think we play as like a mage, a ranged character, and like... A melee character, so Arkzel may be our mage. It is a Valkyrie. All brave warriors who have fallen in the heat of battle. Who are you? Is this your doing? I'm a Valkyrie. We are the key of the fallen. We serve to perpetuate their existence beyond this world. You must accompany me. Now what? Valkyries really do exist. I thought they were just a legend. Silence. Must be a mistake, Valkyrie. We're still alive and we'll rejoin the rest of your army when we get out of here. Get out of here. Listen to me carefully, mortals. We are gifted with the knowledge of life and death. I can see in the path of my hand how the lifeline that ties you to this world ended when you became trapped. It is not only rooks and earth that separate you from the outside- er, rocks and earth. <laughs> there is something else, more powerful than any attempt you can make to escape. Maybe you're unaware, but we have a grand sorcerer among our ranks who could- I see you still do not understand your situation. There is no one here but the power you suggest. My mere presence ex excludes all possibility of doubt. 
You must accompany me. Your destiny lies here no longer. Is she really a Valkyrie? Could be a witch. What'll happen if we go with you? If I don't go with you? In that case, I will leave. You will never see me again, and those who decide to stay will fade into dust with the passage of time. Alright, listen to me everyone. No one expected in like this, but we've run out of options. I'm going in. Are you my melee character? I'm so into you if you are. <laughs> Riva, I'll not be able to keep my promise. May the guards help Zarga. Oh, these are some names I'm going to forget for sure. <laughs> Our general has entered. I will follow him. Yes, he has never failed us. General Brigard, wait! We stand with you! Okay, some of them are going. Oh, okay, I'm not playing as any of the named characters. I'm just playing as a no-name. A nobody. Okay, so, Scout. So, very similar to the three starting classes in Astalon, like I said. Scouts have balanced attack and defense abilities. They can use their shield to absorb several blows while unleashing quick combos with their sword. No mana, so I'm not going to be using any magic. Makes sense. Uh, middling attack. And, or not middling, but middle of the road. Stamina is high, health is high. Archers base their strategy around ranged attacks and agile mobility. They can shoot arrows from afar while throwing their bow like a boomerang to quickly recover them. Interesting, you can throw your bow. Weird. Casters use magic as their main source of power. They are able to cause major damage if they know how to wait and time their movements well. Okay, so when I played Astalan, I specifically wanted to get out of my comfort zone, so I went with the with the melee character. I think this, this time let's go for Caster. It seems like I have way less health if I do this, but uh, I don't know. I think it'll be fun. So let's go ahead and go with a Caster. Are you sure you want to choose this class? Remember, you can't change it while on your adventure. Oh, wow, this is final. Um... Hmm. I mean... Yeah... I do really like the other options. I was under the impression I would be able to change. <laughs> uh, ranged attacks and agile mobility. You can shoot arrows while throwing their bow. Uh... Mana... Yeah... Let's just go with the caster. I think it sounds fun. If I end up screwing myself because I have lower HP and die a bunch, oh well. We're just gonna have to take that L. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> I wanted to play as the caster more in Astalon, um, so I think I'm gonna try playing as the caster more here, because I very much heavily relied on the melee character in that game. Alright, here we are. Okay, we got a whack with our staff. The birds are scared of me. West Sabuna Desert, East Spider Lair. Yeah, sounds like a great first place to go to, the Spider Lair. Okay, that was Y that I just did. Ooh, okay, we have a dash, but oh my god, it has a long cooldown. Seems like I might be able to go through enemies with that, though, so that might be handy. I cannot double jump. And yeah, that's my magic attack. I got a little... It does have a cooldown as well. It's like a little... What's the word I'm looking for? Really a Hadouken. Because it's not a projectile, but it's just a little force of energy that comes out of my hand. Not really sure what I would call it. <clears throat> There's the Valkyrie. Welcome, brave warrior. I am Leandris, matriarch of the Valkyries. Forget everything you thought you knew, your battles, your friends. You are now in a very different place from whence you came. This world is ruled by a worldly god, a guardian who awaits your arrival, and that of your allies. Your mission will be to find him, and it will, but it will not be easy. If you succeed, you will pass into the next plane, where you will be named a champion in the great battle of the gods, Ragnarok, and be granted unimaginable powers. Okay, I didn't know this game was, like, you know, going to do, use a Norse mythology backdrop. I had no idea. But yay, we're going to be fighting in Ragnarok! Yay! I can't wait. Can I fight Balder? Tell me, soldier, are you ready to embrace glory beyond your life in this world? Find the Guardian and with him, your place. Okay. Can I fight Jormungandr? I like Yormi. Okay. And there we go. Yep, can't get back now. Much like the start of a lot of Metroidvanias, we fell into a pit, and now we're just kind of stuck down here. Okay, I was like, are these enemies? No, they're friends. 
place doesn't seem so different from the fields back home, does it? Uh, how do I advance your dialogue? Oh. Do, do I not advance your dialogue? I don't- I, I was trying to press A. Yeah, but it seems like that's it. That's all you have. Got no way of reaching General Brigard. We started to have the look at the perimeter, but I've- I'd much rather be in this regiment, that's for certain. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to advance your dialogue. I think you- you just say the one thing and that's it. Hmm, I can do it. It's not that high. Better plan your jumps if you don't want to fall down here like me. Taking a leap right at the last second might just do it. Alright. I will give that a shot, friend. Makes a lot of sense to me. Very agile for a mage. Which is good. Okay, I can whack you with... Oh, wow, we swing fast. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I, we swing really fast. Alright, good to know. I'm trying to keep an eye out for secrets or anything. Kablooey. Okay, and that takes a little bit to recharge. Good to know. Uh... What is this? Is just telling me attack again? Oh! Wait, what? Oh, I shoot out projectiles from my wand too, so I can hit them with the wand physically, but I also have projectiles at home? Oh, that seems amazing. Reminds me of, uh, that one ability in Cuphead, the one where you just fire and it homes in. The drop from these platforms doesn't seem too steep. Should it be hard to climb up and down them. Uh-huh. LB- Ooh, okay, I have a barrier. Neat. No, none of that, please. I do get knockback, though. Okay, and I do have a guard meter up there. I see that meter up below my health bar. It's like my guard stamina meter. What's the meter below that? Is that my magic? No, I don't know what that is. Climbing down, jumping, blocking. What's all this, then? Some sort of testing ground? I don't know, maybe. Maybe we're in a video game and this isn't even real life. You got a health potion. Restores part of your health bar. Press up to use a health potion. Okay. I wonder, is it going to be like an Estus system where we get them refunded at checkpoints, or is it going to be items, like consumable items? B? Okay, yeah. You're just explaining to me that I can dash through enemies. Nothing personnel, kid. I can do that. It seems like I got a crit there, too, when I dash through. Oh, you look cool. You're cool. Confirmed. Huh? Seem a bit clueless. Come on, you heard that, Valkyrie. We've got work to do. Snap out of it. Though, if you're on this road, that means you're assigned to the group tasked with exploring the cave. The rest are way ahead. As you can see, this is no joke, so wake up and open your eyes, because this place is full of disgusting creatures like that one. Anyway, I'm off. I've wasted too much time on you already. Do yourself a favor and try not to lag behind. No guarantees. I do wish my outfit was was blue instead of red, so I could pretend I'm VV. That would be neat. But unfortunately, I don't think that's in the cards. Ow. Hello. Jeez. Okay, first boss fight? That's what it seems like. Okay. Oh, okay, yep, nope, things are going great. Things are going great. Perfectly, actually. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. A little bit better now. Uh-huh. Nope. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying, okay? Nope. Bang, 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 bang. Okay. Yeah, luckily my dodge has a pretty good cooldown. Okay, yeah, no, that wasn't bad. I choked there a little bit at the beginning, and then I kind of just had a rally where I just absolutely annihilated that thing without getting hit. Cool! Yeah, I just wasn't prepared at the beginning, but not so bad once you learn the pattern. Alright. I am pretty happy with my mage being the all-out damage risky character. That sounds fun. Oh, yeah, I just realized I didn't even use my block at all. Yeah, I gotta keep in mind that I do have a block as an option, too. Okay, checkpoint again. So when I started the game up, it told me there's gonna be like a feather quill riding when the game actually saves. But checkpoint does not mean that the game has proper saved. If I quit the game, I will start from the beginning. So we gotta keep that in mind. Uh-huh, they just saved us from being buried alive in one cave and we ended up in another. Uh-huh. 
I really expected to be able to advance their dialogue, but, uh... I've tried pressing most of the buttons, and it doesn't seem like it's working. If we ain't dead, why have you ended up here? That Valkyrie was talking about some power or something like that, right? Nasty looking place. We're supposed to start our grand mission somewhere as creepy as here? Can't believe we've ended up here. What happened to Zarga with half its army gone? Their, their, their little voice, their little quips and voice, voices, their, their accent basically is throwing me off. There are already several groups of soldiers exploring this cave. We're getting ready to inspect this area. What do you say? Statue thingy is making me feel all, makes me feel all strong again. You feel it too? That a save point? Are these my benches? No, that's just a checkpoint. What? Where's my save point, video game? Oh, okay, save game. There we go. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's how- so we save at the statues. Good, gotta keep that in mind. Because, uh, I'm probably gonna have to have a little bit shorter one for the first episode today, because I do want to get this up today. Im- Im- Imarachnid? Imarachnid? Imarachnid. The markings of the strange gem said that it's set- it was set in something for a long time. Yeah, an imarachnid, because it's an emerald and an arachnid put together. What is that? What is the name for that when you can port man to? I don't remember. Uh-huh. I have the imarachnid. It go indoor. And it calls thing happen. Everybody's freaking out. See, while all of you were sitting around, I was actually doing something. Yeah, there you go. Just take credit for what I did. Fantastic, you bunch of slackers. Everyone was exploring this cave, you said. Meanwhile, I'm the only one that picked up the glowing green gem and put it in a door. Fantastic. This is what I'm working with. It is kind of neat to have an entire party of uh, people, though. Like a whole squad. That's kind of cool. I am into that part. Okay, so we can't go down here. Is there no way for me to get up there? By the way, do we have a map? Uh, oh wow, we got a lot of stuff to look at. Okay, we got menus. Fire, water, sand is an element. Electricity and wind. I would have expected earth. Or something of that nature. Bishop's talisman. Use my casters to project protective shields. A rod that channels arcane energy released as discharges. Uh-huh. Okay, I have no items. Makes sense. Imarachid, Imarachnid Key. If you have to explore this cave, there's no sight more haunting than that enormous door. Find the five Imarachnids, maybe it'll open. Okay, I gotta find five of them, yeah. Because I, th I thought there were more slots on the door, and it didn't open, so... Tergaia is a vast world populated by all kinds of beings and creatures. With the records on offer in the encyclopedia, you'll be able to better distinguish between friend and foe. Um, in case you were wondering, yes, I am the person that will be reading all of these. <laughs> because I'm that person. Oh god, there's a lot. <clears throat> Alright, let's get to work, I guess. The main attack force of Zarga's army is made up of these warriors. Scouts are trained in all kinds of environments, and their configurations cover a wide variety or wide range of formations. If necessary, they can open and scatter their regiments to fight while still coordinating their positions with the other members of their group. Their light armor allows them to move quickly across the battlefield, making underestimating them a grave mistake. And they're human and age is varied. These experienced marksmen are ordered to hold their positions until the enemy inevitably approaches. They tend to be underestimated, but the fact is that, thanks to their bows, these soldiers are also capable of close combat defense. Zarga's archers used to train with helmets that reduced their visibility. Over time, they began to feel comfortable wearing them, making them the official helmets for this class. It's scary to imagine what they could do without them. Wow, yeah, they, their vision is limited, and they're still badass archers. Cool. Casters spend much, uh, most of their lives studying the powers of nature around them, attempting to understand how to extract and produce magic. In their case, linking experience with age is inevitable. Magic is hard to control, but it seems that Terragaya's energies make these powers flow in unimaginable ways. Rider. Zarga's rider squad consists of fast-moving units used either to attack, flank, or scout. They are effective soldiers and often control the movement of their enemies by pressuring them with their long spears. I- oh, come on! I wanted the spear class! I love spears! Donning such traits, Terragaya has bound them to creatures that they will be able to ride to flourish in combat. Oh, I want that class! That new game plus class? I want the- the dragon spear- spear-wielding- right- well, no, 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 bound to creatures. It doesn't say it's dragon. I- I- I see- I see creatures and riding them and I automatically think of, like, wyvern knights and fire emblem. 
Slayers are one of the latest additions to Zarga's ranks. An ex as ex-convicts given a second chance, they are not very highly regarded nor have a great reputation. Due to their characteristics, these soldiers are very resourceful and are extremely skilled at avoiding their enemies. Okay, you're like the rogue class. <clears throat> Ironclad. In ancient times, when a child was born in Zarga with favorable qualities, their fate was automatically sealed as that of a promising ironclad warrior. The ironclads of the kingdom of Zarga are one of the most feared forces on the entire continent of Asil. They have proven their usefulness as a frontline force, denting nearly impregnable formations. formations. The practice of training infants faded away just a few years ago, meaning the current squad will be the last generation of ironclads. Okay, yeah, I'm glad that we're not training them from infants anymore. Okay, there's Arxel. We saw you in the opening. Arxel is the most powerful sorcerer in all of Asil. His experience and wisdom, powerful assets, and his position as the king of Zarga's most faithful advisor are beyond all doubt. While he devotes his life to teaching the art of magic, no pupil of his has ever come close to his level of mastery. Not even Serfiel, his brightest student, could even dream of competing against him. His background tells us that his powers began to develop as far back as his days in the Cradle, making him a truly outstanding member of his field. Wow. Okay, you were casting fireballs as a child. That seems dangerous. Arxel proposed a sudden and last-minute change to the chosen strategy for dealing with Dadelm's army. Leading half of Zarga's troops to hide under the mountains, the site of the unfortunate accident that brought Brigard and his soldiers to Terragaya. Yeah, so that's the event that happened at the beginning. You said that you had a different plan as opposed to the king, so you split up our force and half of them hid under the mountains, and that somehow allowed us to step into Narnia here. Unfortunately, issue that brought Brigard and his soldiers to Terragaya. So wh where exactly is Terragaya? Is it a world under the mountains? Kind of what I'm assuming. Not much is known about these outside of legends. Their mission is to rescue the souls of fallen soldiers and guide them to the afterlife. Valkyries can see the invisible bonds between living beings in the universe, so if someone finds one, it is certain that they no longer belong to this world or any other. Are we, are we between? Big Berserk vibes. We're between. We're between the world of living and death. Although it is quite rare to catch a glimpse of Leandris, the stolid matriarch of the Valkyries, she occasionally welcomes newcomers to Terragaya, at which point she reveals the fate of the Fallen. Leandris limits herself to announcing the purpose to be followed in this world, and without further pretense, disappears with no intention of showing up again until much later on. Since Leandris spends her time leading the rest of the Valkyries, she does not usually visit Terragaya. Nevertheless, her sisters keep her well informed of everything of interest going on. Okay, so yeah, maybe we are in like a, a like in-between state, a purgatory if you will. Maybe that's what Terragaya is. It might be something that's established in Norse mythology and it's just not something I've ever heard of. I know a few things just, you know, because of video games and stuff and other bits of media, but it says I still have a new character there. Oh, okay, no, we're good. <clears throat> Alright, I have one thing in my bestiary. A slime. These slimy life forms roam all over Terragaya with no ambition other than to feed. They attack their victims by transforming their bodies into sharp needles to weaken them, and then smother them to absorb their nutrients. Horrible. Awful. Don't want to hear that. One thing I notice here is that we do get XP. So is this going to be more like... Bloodstained rather than Astalon? Because... Well, no, we got XP in Astalon, but in... Yeah, no, 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 no. Astalon had XP too. I was wondering if it was one of the Metroidvanias where we actually learn... Where we actually get XP and level up. Or if it's one of the ones where it's like, no, your only increase in abilities are like new items and abilities. You don't actually level up and your stats increase. I don't know if it's actually going to make my stats increase. Maybe it'll just give me skill points or something, but we'll see. I don't really know much about this game besides it looked cool. Is there a faster way to scroll? Because I, I think the boss that I beat... There we go. Null. These oversized thugs work hand in hand with the bandits of the forest. Zero XP, excuse me. They usually chase their victims, driving them deep into the forest, where the other members of their clan will finish the job. Even so, they are more than capable of knocking out careless individuals who cross their paths by themselves. They use their spike clubs faster than their stature would suggest. Yeah, I noticed that. <coughs> okay, that's all the bestiary. Glossary and tutorials. Um, general... Health points? Okay, so the, the one thing is my mana. Ammo shards, stamina, attack, maximum arrows. Elemental attack. A uh, chance to cause the burn state, blinded, frozen, bleed, and paralyzed. Blinded sounds interesting. Elemental defense. 
Altered states, stunned, left at the mercies of enemies, poison, bleed, asleep. Uh, blinded, all your basic attacks will temporarily miss, makes it impossible to use secondary weapons and skills, makes it impossible for you to move normally until its effect wears off, and receive periodic fire damage until its effects wear off. Uh, frozen transforms you into a block of ice, press any key repeatedly to break free, randomly shocks you. Oh god, I hate that kind of paralyze. Turns you to a statue. Okay, but it's not instant death. Okay, good. Sorry, petrification is scary for me. I play a lot of JRPGs. Cursed. Attack damage is decreased. Damage taken is increased and all healing effects are halved. Wow, okay, that's rude. Not quite as bad as Soul's Curse, but... Death Cursed. Kill the enemy that cursed you before time runs out or die. Enemy attack will incapacitate you, preventing you from moving. Press any button to break free. And a health potion. Okay. Well, there we go. So we looked at all of our tutorials and everything, got a little bit of lore uh, about the world. So actually, I think I will just go over here and save and we can go ahead and end this episode off now because we're at a good uh, probably 26 minutes. So yeah, I think this is probably where we're going to end the first episode of Soldiers Off. It's been pretty fun so far. I've been having a really good time with it. Excited to see what else is coming up. I just love Metroidvania so much. They're so much fun. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time.